Hi everyone. I am now 36 weeks and six days. So I haven't done an update. I've just been really, really knackered and a lot going on with the one year old. Um, update first. I had my scan at 35 weeks and five days. Um, baby's head down and is weighing approximately six pound eight and that was at 35 weeks and five days. I am now 36 and six. So that was about a week ago. So would make the child around seven pound now, roughly. Um, I'm not sure if you know, but I've been taking Clexane injections because of my age and being overweight. Um, I decided to go against the advice of taking those because for the last three days I've been injecting myself and I'm catching a vein or something and I'm bleeding quite badly and I'm having to stop it. So I need to speak to my doctor and see if there's anything else I can do because I'm not taking something that's going to make me bleed because I'm doing it wrong because I'm running out of space and where to do it. So yeah, I'm not a doctor. I'm, I can't do it. That's it. Because I'm not risking it because especially with it being warfarin, which is a blood thinner, my blood's not clotting really quickly like it's supposed to. So that's causing an issue obviously I don't want to end up bleeding to death from catching veins and vessels and things so yeah that's where I am with that so today was my last one I'm not taking any more I'm not because as I say today I did the third one of three for the today yesterday and the day before every single one went wrong and I'm bleeding today was the worst one I, I had to hold pressure on it for a long time it just kept pulling blood onto my lap. Well, technically my leg. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing that no more. Uh, symptoms. Um, up until today, um, I've had serious heartburn and it's kept me up all night. I've literally been sitting there. Luckily we've got a fridge in our room and I've been drinking milk and taking Gaviscon and Retidine and things like that but nothing's taking it off 100% so it's just keeping me up all the time. Um, until today that's been extremely bad. I don't know what's changed, maybe it's engaged now. He or she is engaged in position now because the heartburn hasn't been as bad. It's manageable. Um, I have lost a big amount TMI by the way so obviously it's to do with pregnancy so if you don't like gross things turn off or forward um, a massive amount of thick jelly like discharge um, no smell obviously I had my last appointment yesterday um, and they checked me for infections so it's nothing like that um, the midwife thinks it's a mucus plug which is a big amount of discharge from up there that's all it is it doesn't mean i'm going to go into labor anytime soon but obviously technically tomorrow i'm 37 weeks which if you did go into labor they wouldn't stop it anyway because your class is pretty much term so yeah um because obviously there's slight now increase that i could have issues in birth because i can't take the clexane because I'm going to end up dieting or something because I'm going to end up bleeding to death um, it might have the opposite reaction now and actually not help because I can't take something that's, that's to me is dangerous because it's causing that causing me to you know keep catching things so yeah I'm going to be having the child in the hospital luckily I have somebody staying with us at the moment my father-in-law 
So we will, me and my husband will go into the hospital as soon as my waters break and I'm actually in labour and I've been in labour for a few hours. And my last labour was only seven hours. Um, so if I leave it a couple of hours and then contact the hospital and ambulance and all that lot, there's no point till then. Um, trying to think if there's any other symptoms that I've had or got. Hmm, lightning crutch. I don't think it's called crutch. But lightning, obviously, until today, it was really bad, on and off, on and off. I think it's actually, I think he or she is engaged now and actually got to where the child is supposed to be. Because that's kind of stopped. And even though I'm getting kicks further up, I was examined yesterday, which is the 11th of July 2019. And they said that the child is head down. Bear with me one moment. I'm just going to turn the bath off. Because you probably can't hear me that well either, to be fair. Um, and I've got the extractor fan on, but we have to. Our house is complete rubbish. Get mould everywhere otherwise. We do anyway, but we don't want it in the bathroom as well. Um, yeah, really bad. Leaking boobs this week. Like, really, really bad. A baby cries, they leak. My child cries, they leak. Um, something else as well, which sucks, but it's something to do with pregnancy, unfortunately. Um, I now live in Wales, and me and my daughter have both been bit severely everywhere my daughter's like dotted up it's ridiculous um but obviously people are going to comment and go oh you've got fleas or some rubbish like that no we haven't um we've got this stuff called rip which is a flea thing you put throughout your house and it lasts up to a year and that was only put down a couple of months ago and i use front line on the dog and I've checked her with the flea combs as well. She's got nothing. Um, so I went to the doctors and they said it's the gnats, which is to me a bit odd because I didn't think gnats bit. I thought mosquitoes did, not gnats. But she said that's what it is. And extremely itchy. It just reminds me of when you go somewhere really warm and you get bit by mosquitoes and it's super itchy. But I know that's not too pregnancy, but in case you were wondering what all this is, it's everywhere, it's disgusting. But yeah, that's what that is. Um, lately, I'm finding I'm extremely warm. My husband could turn the heating completely off. I'm still too warm. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm having to put a fan on all night. It really is ridiculous. That's how uncomfortable I am. And obviously the baby kicks most of the night as well. So um, even if I manage to get any sleep, which is very rare, um, I'm boiling. I'm, I mean, I'm physically sweating now and I'm doing nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm finding these, this now really quite uncomfortable. Um, I just want it done with, I really do. I want it done with. I thought I was in labor yesterday, but it turned out it was an intestinal thing because um, I've been backed up for that long constipation, piles, um, also known as hemorrhoids, um, that I was having serious pain in my stomach and my back but it was, um, it did go eventually after I'd been in the bath for a couple of hours but yeah it was extremely painful and then now I've got diarrhoea which fingers crossed is linked with labour potentially because if I'm going go to labour tomorrow I'd be so happy. I really would because I know it's done then and then the hour in between baby sleeping I can have a sleep and catch up on a little bit of sleep and housework and you know normal stuff but um, I'm knackered absolutely knackered <sighs> if there's anything I've not covered or you want to know about apart from the sex of the baby because I'm not telling you you have to wait till the baby's born um, I know I keep saying he, but it's a it's 
just a slip of the tongue. It could be he or she, no one's going to know, you know. Um, oh, I'm so warm. Oh, but yeah, if there's anything you want to know or I've missed out, please let me know. Like and subscribe and hit the notification button and you'll get all of his videos. Alright then, bye for now everyone. Bye.